Uh, recently in the world, many startups are emerging, and typically in the United States, millionaires from Silicon Valley are investing space industries like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and here in Kam Gaparian, and also Richard Branson, extra. Why do they start to invest on space industries? What will be the effect on space economy and industries? I think human need for exploration <laughs> uh, and pioneering and frontiering. I think there is also a huge market that is growing. Uh, and that market, that need, I think drives the growth of the space economy. And also with the new technologies, we can do some amazing things that we couldn't do before. And I think as a result of that, the space economy is growing by leaps and bounds. Let me just elaborate on a couple of things. We're going to be launching our space station in 2024. We're going to be creating a new, I would call LEO, low Earth orbit ecosystem that did not exist. We're not only being able to take private astronauts to space, like we did uh, earlier this year, but also create or enable new technologies to uh, prosper in orbit. Uh, if you can imagine maybe uploading a 3D print to a space station where you can, in fact, print a satellite in orbit and launching it from there, or in the areas such as uh, um, printing corneas and retinas in space and returning it back to Earth, um, and doing cloud in space, even satellite repair and satellite refueling. I think all of these um, drives the market just on the LEO. And US government has decided no, they no longer want to be a landlord, they want to be a tenant. Uh, in the other words, buy services for commercial sectors. So I think all of these and the role of entrepreneurs is driving the space economy. And uh, I would say it's about time because that's what I'm passionate about and it's sort of exciting. And I would say not only we should take care of our home uh, due to all the climate change issues and everything else, we should find new homes in stars. And all of these are really intermediary steps to be able for humankind ultimately to go to stars. We're opening up a new frontier and all kinds of things are gonna be possible beyond the sorts of things that people talk about now. Now, we go out into space, there's going to be new nations on Mars. New nations, new languages, new political systems, and many, many contributions to science and technology they'll be forced to invent, okay, in order to um, create the technologies that allow people to live and prosper on Mars, that allow them to take the materials on Mars and turn them into resources. We know that when we go to space, aging gets accelerated very slightly. We know that for a fact. Uh, so because we know that, now we've, we're working with a, uh, a medical research organization in the United States to actually study um, slowdown of aging or even reversal of aging. Because we know that the aging gets accelerated, and by knowing that, maybe we can be closer to do that. We also have found that maybe the um, acceleration of aging might have something to do with our T cells. Well, also, cancer has something to do with T cells. So there may be a possibility that uh, through microgravity research, that we might actually find cure for cancer. 